Hello everyone. This lecture is for grade 8, chapter number 3, Synthetic Fibers and Plastics, lecture 3. In today's video, you will be able to understand the advantages and disadvantages of synthetic fibers. So let us first begin with the advantages of synthetic fibers. Student, you must have been familiar with the word wrinkle and shrink resistant, durable, resistant to action of bacteria moisture when we were studying the properties of different synthetic fibers. Isn't it? So this itself is the first advantage of synthetic fiber. That is, synthetic fibers are easy to maintain as they do not require ironing and retain their look and shape even after washing. So students, as you can see here that synthetic fibers are wrinkle resistant means they will not form creases on, on the synthetic fibers. Also, they will not shrink very easily and hence we do not require much of an ironing for synthetic fibers. They are cheaper than natural fibers and are readily available. So this means silk, this is a natural fiber and we know that silk is very expensive. But a synthetic fiber similar to silk, which is rayon, is comparatively cheaper. Cheaper means it is less expensive. Wo thoda sasta hai as compared to silk. Even acrylic, a synthetic fiber, is cheaper as compared to wool, that is natural fiber. Also, their availability does not depend on agricultural crops or animal husbandry. So students, natural fibers are the fibers that are obtained from natural sources like plants and hence their availability will depend on agricultural crops and they are also available from animals and hence they will depend on animal husbandry. But there is no such issue for synthetic fibers because they are not obtained from plants or animals. The next advantage is that synthetic fibers are elastic, easy to wash and dry and can be dyed in many colors. So elastic, it is easily stretchable. We can easily wash them. Dry also, it will, it will get easily quickly and also it can be dyed in many colors. We can give them colors. We can dye them in colors very easily. Synthetic fibers are stronger and more durable than natural fibers. Students, if you must have come in contact with cotton fibers or wool fibers, then you must have seen that cotton fibers can rip apart. We can tear them very easily. Okay? But, as compared to cotton or natural fibers, synthetic fibers, they are stronger and hence they are more durable in nature. So these were few advantages of synthetic fibers. Students, like every coin has two sides, Similarly, the uses of synthetic fibers, like it has its advantages, it also has some disadvantages. And in this part, we are going to study the disadvantages of synthetic fibers. They melt and burn easily and hence 
should be ironed carefully on low heat. So this is an image of a synthetic fiber which has been ironed on a high heat. So what happens is because synthetic fibers they are made up of petrochemicals they burn or they melt very easily and hence it is advisable that whenever we are ironing the synthetic fibers we should iron them very carefully on low heat. Like discussed they melt and hence they may also stick to the skin which may cause injury. Also they catch fire easily and cause burn. This is why synthetic fibers should not be worn in the kitchen or while lighting fireworks. The next disadvantage is that synthetic fibers absorb very little moisture and hence are uncomfortable to wear in the summer. So here in the image as you can see this is the structure of natural fiber. So there are empty spaces or gaps in natural fibers which allow more absorption of water. Whereas on the other hand in synthetic fibers there are no empty spaces or gaps because of which there is less absorption of sweat or moisture and hence it is not advisable to wear synthetic fibers in the summer season. They are not skin friendly and may stick to the skin causing irritation. Students, as synthetic fibers are made up of petrochemicals, they might not be suited to all skin types which may cause skin irritation. Also, they are non-biodegradable and hence harmful to the environment. So as we know, synthetic fibers, they are not made up of natural sources. Hence, the degradation or decomposition of synthetic fibers is not possible and hence the disposal of synthetic fibers is a problem. So with this, we end this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.